don't want the Jets to cut Carl Lawson? Just do this. Hold up. Step number one, the Jets need to restructure and extend Carl Lawson to keep him here for a couple more seasons. Carl Lawson, second year back from a catastrophic injury, is typically when an athlete performs closer to their peak selves. Still in his late 20s, still some tread left on those tires, but we need to dramatically reduce that cap hit in 2023. Carl Lawson stays a Jet. But that cap refiguring is not enough. We're going to need to trim some money somewhere else along this defensive front. I'm looking at Sheldon Rankins, pending free agent. We're going to let Sheldon walk. I like Sheldon, but it's okay. We're going to replace the production of Sheldon Rankins in step number two. John Franklin Myers currently plays two-thirds of his snaps at defensive end and one-third inside interior defensive line. The Jets clearly don't view him as a full-time defensive tackle. That's fine. But I'm going to ask them to invert that ratio. Two-thirds inside next to Quinnen and playing one-third of his snaps sparingly at defensive end. John Franklin Myers can more than replace the pass rush Sheldon Rankins produces from the inside. Neither are elite run defenders while playing inside. So it's kind of a wash there. So it's Carl Lawson stays and Sheldon Rankins has been replaced. But the domino effect, now we need to replace the production of John Franklin Myers of the snaps he was taking at defensive end. Insert Jermaine Johnson and Bryce Huff. The second and third year players are more than ready for more snaps. Jermaine Johnson uh, plays on early downs, big, strong, set the edge, and Bryce Huff is a third down menace. I'd like to see Bryce Huff get some more work on early downs too. Haven't seen a right tackle block him in his whole career. So now you have your uh, defensive end side. One of them is a little bit of JFM, a lot of JJ, some Huff. The other side is Lawson and Clemens, and on the inside you got JFM working next to Quinnen. Now we had to add some depth to that defensive interior, maybe a draft pick, maybe some uh, cheap veterans, uh, hopefully an upgrade over the likes of Shepard and Thomas. But to me, that is a way that we can be realistic with the cap and still retain this Jets pass rush. And if you want to do some more manipulating and roster moves, free agents, signs, a whole entire draft, got a whole mock-off season down below. I'll see you in that one. Subscribe if you're new. Go Jets.